Hello and welcome to the World of Maps and our how-to videos. In today's video, we're going to show you some of our favorite customizing tips. This is a two-part video, and so in the first part, we will be working with the shift key and grouping and ungrouping. So let's get into it here. We're going to be working today with one of our, our editable Australia maps, and what editable means is that each uh, element in our maps is a separate object, and they can be um, highlighted with the little handles here. It can be pulled out. We can go into our formatting palette. We can change colors to, to anything that we want. So it's a fully editable map, text and land. So when you're customizing maps, one of the most important keys that I think uh, on your keyboard and to help you in customizing is your shift key. Shift key is right there in the lower uh, left uh, and also on the right hand side of your keyboard. And what the shift key does is it allows you to select a whole group of objects. So on a map like this, if I did a select all, you'll notice everything gets selected. And I don't really want that. I just want to change the land. So if I hold down my shift key, I can take my pointer and work my way around and click all the elements, all the land elements. You see they're all becoming selected. And I'm just holding the shift key down. And I can now, I think there's one more right in here. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Uh, I now have all the land selected. I can now go over to my formatting palette. Here's the formatting palette. And go to the fill bucket. And we can add in, let's just make them a light blue. Whoops, we missed one. So we'll just go and click that. And we'll make them all light blue. So there we have it. We selected everything in there. And we turned it all into a color. And we didn't touch any of the text. Uh, if I have my shift key held down, it's kind of like a toggle switch. I can click on and click off. So let's just click that off. It's now deselected, and I can change everything else into another color just like that. Very easy to do. Shift key is a very powerful key and really helps you when you're, you're customizing maps. The second element today that we're going to talk about in our favorite tips is using group and ungroup. And this is done in combination with the shift key. Grouping and ungrouping really helps you deal with all the little elements in a map. Uh, you sometimes, this is a fairly simple map, but sometimes there's a lot of pieces in here. So I can hold down my shift key again, and I can just go around and select all the parts. And I'm just kind of picking the ones I want. You notice I'm just sort of working my way around through the map, clicking the little bullets. Let's grab that little bullet there. Uh, this one here, there. And the land. Now all of these are uh, selected together and the thing to do is to go into your drawing toolbar or wherever the group and ungroup is. Remember we're working here on a Macintosh PowerPoint but it works on all PowerPoints. And If I bring up my drop down menu you'll see group right here. And Group now puts all of these together and I can now use, I can now move this as one element. It's very very useful for sort of keeping things grouped together. I've done some kind of customizing to this section and I want to sort of control them. And I, so a very, very useful thing to kind of help keep you organized with your, with your maps. So thank you today. Today we learned two tips and our favorite tips for using editable PowerPoint maps. Uh, we learned about using the shift key for selecting objects and then group and ungroup. Thank you for joining us today at the World of Maps. And we have a complete line of editable maps for PowerPoint presentations. They're royalty free, easy to customize, and you can download them from our websites. Uh, we have US and Canada, world projections, globes, countries, states, counties, and world regions. So thank you again, and talk to you real soon.